Rufus? The novice said he hid the keys in here. Silence! They're here. I have them. I heard it. Hmm. Cathedra. It is not for me to take that there seat. There was something. He's right. Now stop it. Concentrate. There it was again. <gasps> yes. We must take good care of us. And our cathedral. We must. But I believe I found your keys. Where did you find them? The thief hid them in the cathedral. That is a sacrilege. Will you report the thief to Remigius, Brother Philip? I will think about it. Keep them until we know what to do, will you? Brother Marcus stole Cuthbert's keys. Oh, Brother Marcus. Hmm. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. Theft is something we cannot take lightly. About the chapter meeting. Oh. Talk to Brother Andrew. He will be just as pleased as me to have you around. Now leave. About the keys that were stolen by Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. Brother Andrew, what is it now? Ah. 
I am looking for a document that was in the possession of Prior James. How does that relate to my tasks? Talk to Remedius. We can't allow Prior James's books to be burned. That, Philip, was Prior James's wish. This priory is in debt. And without the ledgers and documents, that will never change. Besides, the wisdom in his books is priceless. It is not up to you to make decisions in this priory, Brother Philip. Do not domineer over those in your charge, but be an example to the flock. 1 Peter, Chapter 5 You are right. You shall argue your case in front of the brothers in a chapter meeting today. Thank you, Brother Andrew. When I'm done here, I will tell all the monks to come to the chapter house. Would it help if I went and told some of them? Feel free to do that. But I insist that the choir finishes practicing before we start. They're already behind schedule. There was something. He's right. Now stop it. Concentrate. There it was again. You seem troubled, brother. They won't... They won't sing. It's Adolphus. There was nothing, believe me. I heard him crying in the crypt. I think I heard him too. No, you are mistaken. It sounded like a whip, like he was chastising himself. It's the end of days. Brother Philip, please help me. Prove to them that there is nothing and no one down there. <gasps> Talking. Now we sing. The keys will not be of much help. Let's see what we can find. No reason to be afraid. Nothing here. The saint rests in peace. These old cathedrals are bound to make strange sounds. Thought so. Nothing here. Even if it is Adolphus, we would have to welcome him. Nothing. Hello? No, no one, not a thing. Hello? The Lord 
God is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? What is that? It's the size of a child. Hello? Oh. Oh. An owl. Just an owl. The choir will be relieved to know that. I should tell them. There is no need to worry, brothers. Adolphus is resting in peace. It was just an owl. I, I told you it was nothing. God bless you, Brother Philip. I knew I heard something. Now, be silent, concentrate, and... Thank you for your help. How could I not help you? You're my little brother. <laughs> I knew I could rely on you. The sacrist agreed to a meeting, today. That way I might be able to get the letter you were looking for. Good thinking, Philip. I will attend, of course. Brother Andrew has arranged a meeting. Yes, please go ahead. We will be there in a few minutes. There will be a chapter meeting in a few minutes. Oh, yes. We will be there. Thank you for letting us know. There will be a chapter meeting today. You convinced Andrew? Miracles do happen. We will be there. You have our support. There will be a chapter meeting today. Excellent. I can't wait to see you and Remigius quarrel. Brother Cuthbert? Do not worry. We are on your side. <laughs> Brother Arnaldus, there's a chapter meeting today. Today, I'll be there. Wouldn't miss that. A waste of time.
There will be a chapter meeting soon. Ah, thank you for letting me know, Philip. Remember my advice about Remagius. Has finished singing. The cantor should find time now. Are you ready for the chapter meeting, Brother Philip? If you have any other business to take care of in Kingsbridge, do it now. The meeting could take a long time. The chapter meeting is more important. And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did, Philip. I can say I knew him well. We all here knew him. I knew him well, and I know he would agree with me. Philip, you are going too far. I will tell the bishop about this. Brothers, oh, let him smile. Brothers, please. Oh, wow. Let's hear what he has to say. Oh, heavens. Hear him out, brothers. I was stubborn as well, but he made me see it. Well, that's not an easy thing to do. Well, yes. I owe James much. He was the one who asked me to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision, then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Is walking on thin ice wise? <gasps> Who does he think he is? May the Lord forgive him. He knows not what he is saying. No. Philip was very hesitant to talk about the state of this priory with me. Usually, he is as careful in his words as he is in his actions. Yes. Philip asked us a question. Was it wise to walk out onto the ice? God was testing Prior James. I say the devil chased him. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. I know because Prior James confided in me. If the Lord tested James, then he is testing all of us. I trust the Lord, so did James, and so should all of you. He was misguided when he walked onto the ice that night, as he was misguided in his last wish, whatever or whoever misguided him. Prior James will face judgment. It is between him and God. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. 
Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? Yes. He brought me a hot stone. That's our Philip. Very well, Philip. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation, do you not? I am here only to help this priory. This priory, of course. I say it is not a coincidence that he should make his voice heard now, shortly after James's passing and before the elections. What are you saying, Brother Remigius? This is not about James. It is about him. He wants to be prior. No. I came here to talk to James. I think that is a wonderful idea. I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Hey, well, I can't disagree with that. Well, yes, obviously. Hey, my choice. Excellent choice. What about Remedius? That's surprising. Great Pride idea. Philip. Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? Thank you for your kind offer, but we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remigius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. No, you really must not. We will see you later. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. Now, let us look for the letter. <laughs> 